Yeah, come here. Light the fuse? No problem. What is up guys, it's Fantastic Films, and today we are going to be talking about Mission Impossible Fallout. Now just a quick background, Mission Impossible Fallout is quite possibly my most anticipated movie of all time. Uh, besides Avengers Infinity War, I mean everything built up to that, but Mission Impossible Fallout, I've just kind of fallen in love with Tom Cruise as an actor, and uh, I watched like almost all of his movies, and this movie is just so like crazy, perfect Tom Cruise-ness, and I... Just this movie blew me away. I can't wait to talk about this. So Mission Impossible Fallout was basically everything I wanted this movie to be. I'm not going to get into the plot. I don't want to spoil anything. I didn't know anything about this movie besides what I'd seen in the trailers and I'm so glad that I went in that way. I'm actually going to go see it again tonight, but just don't watch any trailers. Don't really uh, look at the story, you know, it's just such an incredible movie and I loved everything about it. Tom Cruise does all his own stunts as usual and it's just incredible. The dude is insane. And he really just cares about the audience seeing something actually happen, not just a CG of a dude's, the actor's face on a stunt double. Um, I mean, everything that Tom Cruise does in this movie literally happened. He actually did that. And sure, they may have digitally erased cables or harnesses, you know, supporting him, because obviously they can't have a million dollar actor running around and jumping off buildings and jumping from jets and... Oh, he does everything in this movie, but it's crazy. Now, up until this movie, Mission Impossible, the original from 1996, I want to say, was my favorite mission. I always liked that one because it really captured what Mission Impossible was all about. It was a spy movie, had lots of espionage, it was confusing, and you had to keep in track of every single thing the characters said to understand the story. The action was great, but it wasn't over the top. It was much more of a contained drama slash thriller than an action movie, and the movie just worked as a whole. But I did say though, up until now, and now has passed, now, the new now, Mission Impossible Fallout. So it's not quite in shot, the entire thing isn't shown, but you can see I have a Mission Impossible Fallout poster here, and shout out to my local theater, uh, Dairy Flagship, you guys are incredible. I went up there and I saw the movie Ant-Man and the Wasp with my friend Chris, and um, we had a great time and it was really good, but afterwards I went up and asked if they had any posters uh, for Mission Impossible Fallout. And I didn't think they would be able to give me one because Mission Impossible Fallout hadn't even come out yet. And they actually gave us two. I was able to keep one for myself and then give one to my buddy Chris, so yeah. So I'm going to give Mission Impossible Fallout an A+. I honestly have no regrets saying that. Everything just worked for me. This is one of the best action movies since Mad Max Fury Road. One of the best action movies ever made. And this movie just blew me away in every aspect of being blown away. So guys, definitely go see this. Like I said, I am going to go see it tonight again with my other friend Chris. I'm super excited. But definitely see Mission Impossible Fallout in IMAX. It's definitely worth it. If there was a movie that was made for IMAX, it's definitely Mission Impossible Fallout. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you had any comments, questions, ideas, advice, Leave in the comments section down below. I always get back to you guys. Let me know if you're seeing Mission Impossible Fallout this weekend. And thank you so much for watching. And make sure to subscribe. That way, I can see you guys soon. Peace.